hello and welcome back to our Spring Boot Essentials course. In this video, I will explain to you how Spring Security works in services. My goal here is to give you a general idea how uh, Spring will secure your services. So, I would like to use an analogy that I think it will be really easy to understand since most of us have been in this situation before. So, this is a building. This building has floors and has offices, but if we translate this for our services world, we will see service. So the building itself is a service, the floor is the endpoint, and the offices will be the operations that that specific endpoint will do. And when we have our building here ready to go, we have to secure this building. Even before we open to people, we have to define uh, some kind of security for the floors, for the offices, and so on. So one of the options that we have is using Spring Security. As you know, Spring Security is a module of the Spring ecosystem. So you can use Spring Security in a Spring application or different application, for, for example, JSF applications. So this module, you have to uh, use it on your services. How can we do that? We we'll have a few options, but uh, the easiest one uh, is using Maven. You will set up the dependencies on the pwn.xml, and once you have that, you will have Spring Security on your project. But you have the Spring Security, but what happens next? What should we do? Because the Spring Security is actually there, but we are not using it. Well, in order to use Spring Security, in order to actually say that, for example, this floor will not be able to be accessed by people without the admin role, we have to create the security configuration. So the security configuration or security config will be responsible for creating the rules that we will have on our services. So we can have different rules because the Spring Security works with uh, security in depth. So we have rules for our floors, we have rules for our service, and we have rules for our operations. In this case here, offices. And we can imagine that, for example, the first, floor, uh, the first floor will have the role user, the second floor will have the role admin, but the Spring Security is uh, flexible enough to have different roles inside the same floor. So inside the same, in the same endpoint, we can have two different roles. Okay, so. Let's keep the small picture here on the left side so we can keep moving on. Okay, we have our security already, our building is secure, and now people will start coming in this building. So once you start going in, the first thing that will happen on your application is you will see this guy. So once you, you if you try to enter any building, there will be a guy stopping you, this big guy, asking a simple question. Who are you? So let's call this guy Mr. Authentication Filter. So every time you see this word authentication, it means who are you? He's asking who you are. And this answer will be given to you after he look into the system. So he will look into the system, in this case, the, the Spring configuration, we will call Authentication Manager. And after the Authentication Manager makes a query into the database using, okay, I want to find this guy and I will load uh, this user by username. Or you can define something different. In this case, it can be an ID or anything. But imagine that this guy here, us, we gave to this guy our username. So it will do all this three steps and then after we have uh, after they found our username we will have an identification card so this identification card can be different types we can have different types for these identifi identification cards 
In this case, we are using a JWT or JOT card. And this JOT card will have a token, and inside of this token, we will have some uh, information about us. And we will have uh, the expiration date uh, for this card and the role that we are going to, that we actually have inside uh, these services. So once we have this uh, identification card that was given to us by the authentication manager, this card will go to two places the first place will be us we will have because we will need once we go into the the floors and the, the offices and the second one is the security context so why do we need this card inside the security context actually the thing that is going to be inside the security context is the authentication why? Because the authentication you will only do once, once you are going in. So imagine that if you had to keep going and doing the authentication all the way here inside your services. So once you have your authentication, it will be inside the security context. And this security context will hold this uh, once uh, while you are trying to access different endpoints. So if you are inside the building, your information will come from the authentication. If you are going in for the first time, you have to go through all these steps again. Okay, now we have uh, our authentication, we have our identification card, and we will try to access the Office 1, or I mean the Operation 1. Once we try to access the Office 1, we will find another filter because Spring Security works with different filters. So we have the authentication filter that will say, or we will ask who you are, and we have the authorization filter, and this authorization filter is what you can do inside my services. So the authorization filter will work uh, in the, this way. First, it will get the metadata about this office, about this operation, and it will check, okay, this operation, uh needs what role and it will check the authentication inside the security context context is see and ask what role does this user have so we will be something like this the metadata for the office will be role user and the authentication is role user it means that everything will be good it will be fine because we have the same role so i'm authorized to go inside this operation now, what happens if we try to access Office 2? If you don't remember, Office 2 in the, on the first floor, we have the role admin. Actually, it's wrong here. So Office 2, we have the role admin. So when we try to access the Office 2, the operation 2, we will see uh, the authorization feeder again. But this time, when he asks for the metadata about this operation, we have role admin. But when he gets the authentication role from the security contest we have the role user so what will happen is i have access denied so this is the most basic thing you have to know about spring security if i have to summary everything i would say that you must understand how the authentication works and how the authorization works because the authentication will be the one responsible for getting your information from the database and giving you the identification card or token. And then the authorization will just check from your authentication. Now, it's very beautiful. This is a nice presentation, but what about coding all of this? And we will see that on the next class. So, I uh, see you there. Bye.